There's a beautiful water monitor, huh? Oh my God, right there. Hey, Mark. You know, some days you just got to take care of the gifts you've been given, and I love doing this work. I like being close to nature. I guarantee you, we'll start growing again. So it's not rocket science, it's rock science. Hey guys, I'm gonna fix it all up for you. Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we got some maintenance to do here on Cayman Creek because it sprung a leak. That happens from time to time, every once in a while. Things settle in after you get a new enclosure or water feature and you've just gotta dial things in. What I noticed the other day is that the pond was getting low here and uh, we don't want that. Right now though, it looks like it's holding. I wanna show you what I gotta do. I did a temporary fix yesterday, but what had happened was very simply, oh look, there are the Oscars, check them out. Oh no, I wonder if these guys are stuck in there. I hope not. Maybe they got stuck in there when the water got low, but it looks like there's a cave, so maybe they should be able to get out. I'll keep an eye on them. But anyhow, very simply guys, uh, this eroded, some of the soil went that way, and so there was a dip in our liner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this rock in a better way. We're gonna get it situated. Obviously the water is holding now, so that's good news, but we're gonna decorate this up again and just make sure it doesn't actually uh, fall apart again. So probably a few more rocks in here just to brace this. And uh, yeah, a little soil, some more gravel over there. And then this will get hidden. It'll be nice and high and we won't have any more drama as far as leaks are concerned. But that's not all. We also did some work we meaning me uh did some work hey wait before i go let's just see what's going on with the cayman uh i think they're in their cave yeah there's cayman in the cave right there they are happy little guys let's go see them on their uh see their front sides very good let's see these little front sides hey guys i'm gonna fix it all up for you is all right there you go look at those guys beautiful smooth front cayman these guys are from south america and they are a dwarf cayman species that's as big as they get and uh yeah so that's why we made good old cayman creek anyway i need to check on some of my handiwork from yesterday as well because slinky's uh, enclosure had a little issue and it was losing water as well. Uh, as you can see, I did a lot of work here. I kind of uh, had to trim a lot out of this enclosure. I gotta clean this all up today as well. Uh, but what we're gonna do is show you what I did. We did this a few months ago, but not to this extent. What I was noticing also with Slinky's enclosure is we were losing water there as well, but for a different reason. Uh, here's Slinky, come on Slinky, come say hello. Yeah, the water looks good, crystal clear, beautiful. Um, what I was noticing is this basin was getting much, much lower. Here he comes, look at this guy. There's a beautiful water monitor, huh? That's a good guy. I love you, buddy, you're awesome. So, very cool lizard, love it in here. But what I did was I noticed that water was kind of backing up here. And you can see the liner here. So the water was backing up because we had so many plants, they were clogging the flow. So you gotta really get in here and trim it all down. And that's exactly what I did. I really went to town and cut back a lot of the plants. Um, it's gonna be like this for a few weeks with the rain coming back. Oh, look at this guys, Cuban tree frog hanging out right there inside of this plant. And then we got a brown and all, uh, a, another Cuban animal right there. How funny is that making their home inside Slinky's enclosure? If they're not careful though, they'll get gobbled up. But very cool stuff. This guy was hanging out yesterday. I noticed him. But anyway, here we are. We trimmed it back. And much to my happiness, uh, since I trimmed it back yesterday, it came in here just now. We checked on it. It's holding its water. It is not flowing or it was weeping out of here. Sometimes what can happen is there's a geotextile cloth. And sometimes that geotextile cloth can be placed up around your liner and it'll wick water off. It'll just wick it out. Plus with the amount of trees or rather plant life that I had here, it was kind of choking out the flow of the stream. So we moved it. It looks good holding. I also took out a big plant here. There was a 
a big fax of hatchy grass right there. I felt like this would be nicer if the larger plants are in the background. So I get a nice unobstructed view of the stream here. So I, I kind of did that. We cut back all of the papyrus. And when you're doing that, friends, being that this is a natural, almost biofiltration situation, it's an aquascape ecosystem pond. So all these plants are absorbing all of that nutrients that Slinky and the fish are making, all the waste products, they're removing all that. And they use it as fertilizer and they store it inside their stalk. So once a year, whoosh, you want to cut that all off. You want to totally take it out because now you've truly removed all that stuff from the water column which is pretty neat so slinky's getting used to his new manicured uh backyard front yard abode enclosure whatever you want to call it and um i'm digging it so he's just checking things out he notices things are different but he'll adapt just fine he is a big boy i think he's a little bit over six foot nowadays he was just shedding recently, and uh, my gosh, is he just an awesome animal. So really, really cool lizard here, slinking around the place. And this enclosure, of course, is just amazing. But what do you say? I've got some work to do. I want to get rid of all this uh, plant matter, okay? Here's all the stuff I moved. And the funny thing is, guys, is that I just got motivated last night. We were visiting uh, Kate. Uh, Kate's parents and then I got home in the afternoon and I was like man I'm still so much daylight left and it was fun I got in there and I just started trimming and that's what I wound up with you know just getting things done I just hate when things aren't dialed in here at the camp so anyhow here's where we are we are um, going to have to get the truck over here. We're going to have to load this up. Uh, I want to attack that first, dial that all in. So what I'm going to do is head on over here to my rock pile. I highly suggest getting a rock pile. Just collect as much as you can because it comes in handy. This is kind of like we've got cinder blocks that I need to use. We've got railroad ties. People have given me these really cool stepping stones that someone was going to throw away and I went and I collected. All these come in very handy. Some posts. Uh, of course, we got an aquascape uh, waterfall, biofalls there. Um, but we've got chunk concrete and we've got all this stuff right here. This is my pile of rocks. And let me tell you, I would drive around the neighborhood and uh, looking for rocks. Some people just want to get rid of them. You go on sort of um you know your local swap meet or local residence page on facebook and that'll help you out too some people just want to get rid of this stuff um, so i collect it and use it because we need some of these rocks like this one we need some smaller ones oh, we're gonna grab that one like maybe this one here because we're gonna prop up that other rock and try and get rid of some of the uh just kind of make a stronger foundation in that area in Cayman Creek so that way it doesn't erode, if that makes sense. And you got to be careful when walking on rocks because these things shift. Uh, I don't think the ground is entirely stable. Don't think it's entirely stable. Well, fantastic, Professor. Uh, let me know what movie you think that's from. I was paraphrasing. It's not the exact thing, but let me know. I don't think this, I don't think it's entirely stable. Anyway. Let me know if you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm a nerd, so therefore, I like nerdy things. All right, we're looking for rocks now. We're looking for rocks. Here's some shattered rocks down here. Look, see, this little dude, it's got a little green to it. I like that. We're gonna get a wheelbarrow and we'll just pull those on over. I think this is a good one too. Yeah, I like it. Just smaller rocks. That's all we need. All right, I think that'll do it. Let's go get ourselves something to transport the rocks and uh, why don't we speed this whole thing up. See ya. All right, we are back friends and uh, we've got rocks and I also got some gravel here because what I think I want to do to help lock everything in place is we're going to go ahead and put some gravel in here. Uh, we're also going to tuck this in a little bit. So I want to fill up this void with some gravel and that's what we're going to do right now. So 
let's get to it. Uh, another thing you gotta, to find a leak, friends, um, you wanna check the waterfall areas because that's usually an area where you might see a leak. Um, but in this case, this is the bottommost pool of Cayman Creek. And I noticed this was the only one that was lower than the others. So there was something amiss here. And that's when I started to realize, aha, uh -huh, here is the culprit. So let's go ahead and put you guys right down here. I hopefully you guys can see me. So what we're gonna do is just start to get a few of these pieces of gravel in the back end here. There we go. We're not gonna fill it all the way up yet. We're just gonna give it some form. And it's also helping this rock lock in because we don't wanna fill it totally up at the moment because I wanna tuck this. You see, you wanna tuck this liner in to kind of hide it better. So we're gonna just tuck it and we're gonna place maybe a larger stone right here and then we'll fill the rest in with the gravel. So let's look at what we got. What did we get here? What do you think? What do you say? I think maybe this one, if I can lift it. Yep, I got it. This one right here, we can hide this stuff like that. See, that's what we're trying to do. It's not pushing down on it, but it is in fact hiding it. I also pulled these out yesterday when I noticed this. So you just want to kind of get these rocks that can kind of cover. The larger rocks will cover anything that looks man-made, okay? Got these guys here. You know, you want to cover this stuff. And then what we'll do is now we take our smaller gravel and we just go for it. We just get that gravel all situated in here. But before, you know, before we do that, I am gonna go ahead, let's get this hose out of here, people. I use the hose to fill the pond back up and I temporarily, as I mentioned, fixed that leak and it held. So I know that is in fact the trouble spot. Let's get some more rock and we're just placing it down in here to brace that. That's in fact what we're doing. We're bracing this up, okay? Very fun. This is fun stuff, man. You know, maintenance is necessary. Things happen. You gotta know how to fix them and that's why I'm here, friends, to help you in case you one day get your own aquatic ecosystem. Let's get some of these bigger rocks in here because those smaller rocks are gonna in fact lock everything in. And the bigger rocks, of course, are helping to hide the liner. Plus the plants and stuff as they grow, will hide them as well. That's what we're doing. Okay, here we go. Rocky, 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 just pour it in. I got plenty more where this came from. If I need more, I'll go back and get it. Okay, so it's not rockhead science, it's rock science. You're just gonna spread it around. All right, it's gotten in, it's getting into all those little grooves. See this? I just kind of mush it around, let it get in there, let it try and settle on up. And now we've got a hidden, re like repaired, uh, kind of weak area that's been repaired. Very, very good. So all these little plants, watch this. I guarantee you this little dude will start growing again. So we'll get plants all over this. It'll look really cool. My work is done in this area. I love it. Very simple. I like simple, man. I don't like big projects uh, or big problems rather. I don't mind big projects, but I'm glad this wasn't a major catastrophe of a leak. Um, very rarely will you have those. Have never had an actual leak in the liner, knock on wood, which is good. But what we have to do now is I've got to go get my truck. We're going to load all this stuff up. We're going to load it and we're going to uh, dispose of it. And uh, you guys are coming with me, but don't worry because it won't take very long. And then I'll finish out by hanging with some of the critters. Here we go.
Uh, you know what they say, take care of your things and they'll take care of you. Um, cool. Well, we have completed the job. It's a little hot out here in Florida right now, which is fine. Um, everything else is doing well though, thankfully. We've got uh, some little flowers growing. Let's get a little hibiscus and give it to some of these baby cherry heads that I'm gonna pull back out in the sun. It was raining earlier and I didn't want this to fill up with, um, with any water and kind of get funky in here. Here's a little boom and then bam. And then how about it? Look at that little guy right there. Beautiful baby cherry head. Beautiful, I've got a couple more of these guys. They are available if you guys are interested. So we do have some baby cherry heads available. Email me at kenanh1 at comcast.net. Look at this, cherry heads, look at that pretty little dude. Hi little buddy, how you doing? Just so beautiful, here's another guy. Look at that beautiful little cherry head. So awesome. Ooh, I'm shaking. I've been working hard. All right, let's go have a look at Cayman Creek and check on all the critters of the creek. So we've got Lucifer is doing amazing, Marge, here we go. Just see if everybody's happy. I'm digging this, I'm loving the uh, enclosure and just no time, we fixed two ponds, had a little issue, happens. And the cool thing about doing maintenance like this, oh look, there's an Amazon spotted turtle. Beautiful, beautiful. The cool thing about doing the maintenance like this is that you know, you're in with the animals, you get to see what's going on. Look at Marge, she's out and about. Hi, girl. Hey, Marge. What you doing over here? You looking for, it's been raining, so you're looking to go wandering, aren't you? You're looking to go wandering, but there's no place for you to get out, baby. You gotta stay with me, little Margie. She's so cute. But again, see, I looked here, all this was, the integrity of the liner was good up top. We got all these cichlids in here, these South American cichlids. And where is, where is our guy, Louie? Hmm. Where's the Lou? Louis Safer. Oh, I guess he's in his cave. It's daytime. So he's going to be in his cave. But again, loving this. This is all growing up nice, but I'm going to have to keep an eye because we don't want any of the plants to restrict the flow down the waterfalls, okay? Very important because that could back this up and cause some kind of um, leak up here. There's Louis. Look, look at him. Louis is actually right there. Look at that. There he is. Can you guys see Louis? Can you see him? I'm going to put you under. Here you go. <laughs> Woo, how cool is that? Little underwater Louie sleeping. <laughs> Very cool. So it's fun to come in here. I get to check up on the animals, make sure they're behaving normally. Uh, I actually like maintenance. Um, it's fun. It's, it's good because I want to know more about how to fix things. Um, you know, I didn't expect the guys at Oxscape just to build this and then come back and continue to care for it. It's up to me. So it's my responsibility. They gave me the gift and it's my responsibility to take care of that gift. And uh, of course we have to do that because the animals certainly rely on it. So again, everything is right in the world. Here is our little handiwork. Um, if I really want, another thing I can do is maybe place a few larger stones here just in case there's any kind of erosion. But what I like about the gravel is rainwater is gonna go through the gravel and allow the water to pass and hopefully not erode so bad. So pretty stoked on that. We're holding it up here. Just really a cool enclosure, huh? So amazing. And look, we got this female Amazon spotted turtle. As they get older, they lose their spots, of course. Look at her. You hanging out up here? Look at how big she is. <sighs> Under the mango leaves. Side neck species, Podocnemis unifilis, was once widely found in the pet trade, and now uh, it is on CITES 1 as an endangered animal. Let's go ahead and put her over here. Hi, lady. Hey, you beautiful girl. I just love this species. Nice and gentle, there you go, nice and gentle. There she goes. That's a beautiful turtle, huh? Oh my God, I love it. She is a big lady. So hopefully we'll get some babies out of them because in each enclosure there's 1.1, which means one male, one female. So hopefully they'll reproduce 
that would be great. But again, Blue Acara, Convict Cichlids, we've got up oh, there the Oscars. They made it back over here, so clearly they can move between both pools easily. And uh, like I said, overall, friends, uh, a little bit of work goes a long way. Um, I just want to show you guys everything, man. You know, some days you just got to take care of the gifts you've been given, and I love doing this work. I like being close to nature. I like kind of, uh, if you will, guiding nature, which is what these ecosystem ponds are. We're using nature, and then you can just kind of be something of an amateur botanist and kind of trim gardener, whatever. It just gets you close to your animals, and that's important. Okay, enough yapping. I did this for them. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit of something. There are our two friends right now. I don't want to get too close because I want to keep my hands, but uh, love the smooth front came in. Let me know what you guys think of the smooth fronts and Lucifer and all the animals here at the camp. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Did you learn anything from this video? I hope so. Uh, it's great to get out there and work. Don't be afraid of it. Take care.